What does this mean for someone who is working age and wants to keep their job in the future? Yeah, well, so let's let's see. I mean, what's striking to me is that there is this also in Silicon Valley, I would say a Silicon Valley worldview um, in its most extreme form is that there will be no human jobs left by 2045. Lots of people say that. And that's just a, what, do you, what do you call it? That's a, um, uh, I don't want to say a lie, but um, it, it's just not going to be true. Uh, absolutely. And you, you just look at the numbers. Um, uh, uh, right now, in America, there are more people working than have ever worked in America in history, 146 million people. So if this technology is killing jobs, why are there more people working? And people will come back to you and they say, uh, well, um, you, you know, that, that, that's, uh, the people are uh, aging out of uh, the, the workforce. And it's true, people are leaving the workforce, but it's not because of technology. It is in part, there are, technology is one part of, of the equation, but, um, you know, it's my generation, the baby boomers, who are now leaving the workforce, which is responsible for much of that, that, that change. And so it's a more complicated sociological question than simply um, new technologies um, uh, displacing workers, uh, which does go on, which has gone on, you know, uh, for all of human history. Um, the nature of the, of the economy will change. Um, we will probably do less manual labor. We will probably do less routine labor. But my guess is we'll do things that we've never done before and we haven't thought of doing um, and that we'll be compensated for them economically. Uh, you know, there's a great discussion about basic income here in the Valley right now. And, you know, I, I don't know where it stands in Europe. In the United States, for all kinds of ideological reasons, I'm very pessimistic about basic income uh, playing out in a political way. Um, uh, but I do think that, um, you know, right now uh, we have a generation that's living based on this emerging gig economy, um, the Internet sort of atomizing all components of the economic system. Um, that's... That's so unsatisfying to people that I, I, I don't believe it will become the standard form of, of labor. That's a really tough way to live. And um, I imagine that, that we'll see new forms of employment and new, new structures emerging out of the, this, this mobile internet that will be increasingly everywhere.